It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, I received a YouTube comment from Spain that I thought was pretty interesting. The comment said the following. Please, could you talk about a rising party in Spain called Vox? Thank you. You do a really good job. Keep doing, mate. Before I talk about the Vox party, there's a few things that I first want to establish. This video is not an endorsement of their party. I repeat, this video is not an endorsement. Although the bulk of the Spanish media characterize the party as far right, in this video, I'm going to take a look at them in a fair and objective way. The second thing that I want to state is that Spain, like with America and the rest of the world, is full of different parties. More recently on my YouTube channel, I did an interview with a Spaniard from the Carreri Islands. Her name was Ziamata Ramirez, and here's some parts of the interview I did with her where she talked about the different parties. There's four big parties in Spain right now. Partido Popular, uh, it used to be the right wing. They're not anymore, even when they think they are, they're not. Then it comes the Socialist Party, which is the government right now. Uh, then it comes Ciudadanos, which is again kind of like in the middle. It's not a right wing and it's not a left wing. They don't even know where they are. And then it comes Podemos, which is communist. It's communist. They call themselves uh, like socialist and something like that, but <laughs> they are communist. So, without further delay, here are the belief systems of Vox and their manifesto. Immigration. Deportation of illegal immigrants to their country of origin. Deportation of immigrants who are legally in Spanish territory, but have relapsed in the commission of minor offenses or have committed a serious crime. A review of the criminal types and the hardening of their sentences to combat the mafias of illegal immigrants. As well as those who collaborate with them, whether they're NGOs, companies, or individuals. Any immigrant who has entered into Spain will be unable for life to legalize their situation and therefore to receive any help from the administration. The effect of persecution of the mafias of street trade, not only the sellers, but also the production and distribution. Suppress the institution as a way to regulate illegal immigration revocation of fast gator race in order to acquire Spanish nationality. Based upon that, it's safe to say that they have a very harsh stance on illegal immigration. Defense, security, and borders. The closure of fundamental mosques, the expulsion of imams who promote fundamentalism, contempt for women, and jihad. The prohibition of erecting mosques promoted by Wahhabism, Sufism, or any fundamentalist interpretation of Islam. Requirements of the principle of reciprocity and the opening of places of worship. Reject and outlaw funding by historic countries for places of worship on Spanish soil. To demand from those responsible for the Islamic religion in Spain an absolute collaboration for the arrest of radicals. Expulsion of the teaching of Islam in public school. Based upon this section, it's safe to say that they're very much anti-fundamentalist Islam. Here's the final part that I found pretty interesting in the manifesto. Spain, unity and sovereignty. Suspension of the Catalan autonomy until the unmitigated defeat of the coup and the debugging of civil and criminal responsibilities. The illegalization of parties, associations, and ONGs who pursue the destruction of the unity of the nation and its sovereignty. So basically, underneath Vox, Catalan separatist parties in Catalonia will be illegal. Provide the maximum legal protection to the symbols of the nation, especially the flag, the anthem, and the crown. Allegation of penalties for offensive and outrages against Spain and her symbols or emblems, no affront to them should go unpunished. No administration or individual can belittle the common language of all Spanish, much less discriminate. We must strictly comply with the constitutional mandate that all Spaniards have a right to use Spanish and the duty to know it. Eliminate the requirement of knowledge of the co-official language 
and addressing the public function in such a way as to avoid any type of discrimination. Based upon this information, it's safe to say that the Vox Party wants the suspension of the Catalan region as well as the separatist parties. It's also safe to say that the party is very much nationalistic by definition. But are they far right? Personally, I don't think that they are. However, this idea of nation first is very similar to the idea of Donald Trump. So the question then becomes, well, why is this party getting popularity in Spain? I think the main reason why that is, is because Spain is facing a migrant crisis. And because some of the people are experiencing that at first hand, it's safe to say that some of them want to support a party that wants strong borders. What do you guys think about this party? Tell me down below. And until next time, take care.